Yeah. Well, I did the best I could. <laughs> you get stuck here every time with every hero, don't you? <laughs> now that you're in the hero business, you better get used to absurd mini games. Let's get this over with. Okay. Left? I have a shadow. Like, on the background. What the fuck? I appreciate the aesthetic, though. It's nice. I like the colors. Oh, okay. We got transported. Hello? There we go. I should have gone past the stage to see if there's anything there. Welcome back, everyone! It's time for your new favorite segment of the show. Super Quiz Off 67! 67? You said it was new. Working title. Bear with us, dear audience. Now let's go over the rules real quick before we start, shall we? You will have to answer five questions about the world and its respective boss. Oh no shit, dude. I don't, this is the first one I've been in. I'm in the first one. <laughs> I hope you have been talking to your enemies, kiddo, or you won't do so good here. I talked to most of them. But then I, I went straight for murder for like four of them, I think. I hope they didn't have information. Even bolder of you to say that I remember the information. <laughs> ah, I put my memory. <sighs> Each correct answer will grant you points or reward you coins at the end of the show. So it's just a money thing. Is my head okay? Wrong answers give zero points. We gotta keep those stakes high, kiddo. Each question has a timer. If the timer reaches zero, you will answer with whatever answer you had selected. And don't even think of looking these up or we'll see you later with our... corpulent legal team? <laughs> Corporate legal team? I don't know what the fuck that was. Are the cadets ready to rumble? <laughs> eh? I'm afraid I can't repeat the rules, kiddo. This is a live show after all. No time to lose, right? So we do agree on something. <laughs> eh? Shut up, children. Then here we go, folks. Question number one. Question number one. What is the source of all the evil in the world? Elizabeth, Mr. Stitches, the Moth Queen, Ta taxes. It's tax. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, is it Mr. Stitches? He's like the bad guy, right? Okay, it wasn't taxes. Correct! Mr. Stitches, the evil king of darkness and other grim titles, is the most evil being on this earth. No one really remembers where he came from. <laughs> And most people know him as a tyrannical king who set his sights on world domination. Good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> we are just getting started, folks. Question number two. What is the Moth Queen's real name? I don't remember numbers. I think it's the second. It's either second or fifth. I think that's a five. Okay. That is correct, dear contestants. The White Queen of Death is known as Alexandria II. Born in this very same tree, she vowed to rule and protect her subjects. Alexandria joined the evil Stitches in hopes of conquering more land for her increasingly large moth population. Some say she might even overthrow Mr. Stitches someday thanks to her immense army of minions. Don't change stations now, dear listeners. Hard one incoming. Question number three! How are the legendary heroes chosen? Serious beings, written test the hilt chooses? Fader the hilt. I don't know. Guess. No, okay, it's fate. Wrong! Contrary to popular belief, the legendary hilt is dormant until it is paired with a hero. The hilt has no bearing in this matter whatsoever. Well, this one is technically correct, since I did choose this mask kid as a new hero. <laughs> but I don't want to be called a traitor, so I better keep my mouth shut. <laughs> okay, fair. It's correct to me. <laughs> and now for the final question! Er, not the final question. I was, I was hoping it was. <laughs> and now for the next question. Here comes a big one. Question number four. 
What did the Moth Queen lose all those years ago? Her husband. Okay, I can skip the timer if I'm sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm slowly run out. This host regrets to inform you that this is indeed correct. The queen lost her to king thanks not to a clever move in chess, but to <laughs> a rare disease. <laughs> you sorry to inform everyone that that's correct, but then you make a joke about it. It has kept the moth king in a comatose state for many, many years now. Stay seated, everyone. Here comes the last... <laughs> He's in a comatose state. He's not dead. <laughs> Technically. Stay seated, everyone. Here comes the last and final question. Question number five. How did Mr. Stitches gain the trust and love of the Moth Queen and her subjects? Saved the king at one point. Although someone thinks it was kidnapped the king. But I think this is the public answer. Both were correct. I have a confession to make, ladies and gentlemen. It shames this humble host to say this, but there are technically two right answers on this pivotal round. <laughs> Mr. Stitches did save the king from dying all those years ago, but that's precisely the point, folks. Where is the king now? Is he comatose, dead, or kidnapped? Where, what is your story? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's all over the place. Congratulations. Congratulations, kiddo. You win money. Thank God. Oh, thank God I didn't have to pick all that up. Wow, I wasn't expecting to get interested in this dumb show. Color me impressed. <laughs> I am so sorry for the cliffhanger, folks. Before you send all your angry emails tonight, remember that the strings of this humble host are pulled by the writers of the show. Welcome to showbiz. <laughs> this plot thread shall continue some other time. And now we're worried. All right. Thank you for playing. That's a wrap, folks. May you all have a lovely evening and see you next time in The Puzzle Man Show. I bet there was a secret to the right of the stage. <laughs> ah. What do you have to say about this, Elizabeth? Almost there, kid. The throne room is very close now. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Hello. <laughs> I like... You're kind of cute. I like your design. It's simple, but cute. Okay. A masked child is in my royal chamber. What is the meaning of this? State your business immediately. We are here to kick your royal butt. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> How dare- wait, is that you, Elizabeth? <laughs> and is that your hero? And I see- it, it's fuck- <laughs> Help. And is that your hero? And is it an insignificant mass ch child? Kid, whatever. <laughs> Not as insignificant as that baby girl. <laughs> Silence. What happened to the real hero? The real hero is standing right here. Are you afraid, your majesty? Hmm. This must mean the hero has perished. I grow tired of this conversation. If you wish to die so desperately, I will gl gladly oblige. Prayer to be broken, Elizabeth. And... <laughs> no. Sorry. Prayer to be broken, Elizabeth. You naive tool. That's just calling me a tool. <laughs> here she comes, kid. If you need any help, talk to me with the... Thingy. Help. Don't panic, kid. Just watch her movements and evade her attacks. Yeah, no shit. Appro Ow! Approach her what? Hey, we get to see it. Okay. Am I, am I supposed to dodge your attacks and you come at me and then I hurt you? That's usually how these go. And I think I have to come over. How do I hit you? Bitch. Uh oh. I tried. I can't run any faster. That's where I hit you. Not sure if I could talk to you. 
Probably hit you as long as I have stamina, then you're gonna fly away and it's gonna- yeah. Okay, over here again. I have a lot of health issues right now. Okay, uh, so I have to do that four times. Okay, do the thing. Where the fuck do you go? Okay, if you disappear and I see no shadow, you're gonna fly. Okay. Fly sideways. Not, not again. Ouch. I should have ducked, I guess. Am I duck in this mode? No, I just need to stand under you. Okay, where's the... Ah, okay. Ignore the fact that I'm dying. Oh, come on. Bitch. Maybe I should just hammer you as the first attack. Don't have the time this time. Okay, no, it's not that I have to do it four times, it's how many times I hit her. Okay. There's a ball. There's a ball. There's balls. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh. The balls! Jesus. Ah, hey, why do you go through the platforms and not Ah, you dick! That was a lose-lose. Oh, a heal! You have taken pity on me. There's so many balls. <sighs> Because this does a lot of damage, so I might as well just hit you like that. And then do that. I don't think there's any attacks I can do that don't take stamina. I don't think that was more effective, though. Ow. I should jump. Oh, jeez. I should have come below. Oh, stop jumping at me. It's rude. Can I have another heal? Please. Oh, if they hit each other, I get a heal. Ow, you suck. Okay, can you do the thing, please? Heal, heal. Another one, heal. is not going down as much as the others. More heal. I have hope. <laughs> I didn't even see- Ah, oh, you're colorful! Ooh, heal. You're still colorful. I don't know what that means for me. Are you like Super Saiyan or something? Shit. That's still less damage than if I got hit by her. Okay. That's also about how much they heal me if they hit each other. I think that's what's causing that. Ah, lasers! Well, not lasers, it's just ow, balls. Hello. Are you gonna do the things so I can hit you now? doing so bad, but I think I'm gonna need another... I'm gonna need to go through that one more time. <laughs> so I can actually... <laughs> actually defeat her. Okay, heal! Please! Okay, now what are you doing to me? Ouch! Don't warn me. Where are you going? Okay, you're doing the flying thing. Okay. Well... Ah! I didn't see that. Did I miss it? I'm not seeing a hue anymore, is that the point? Ouch! 
heal, please. Do the laser thing again. No, you're gonna do this. Thank God. I have defeat. Well, are you good? Taking a nap? Okay. No. I surrender. I cannot believe I was beaten by you. You look more tired than usual, Alexandria. Was the was the whooping too much for you this time? You forgot to take your vitamins. This kid has more potential than I thought. Did you miss how many times I got hit? <laughs> Maybe even more than the previous hero. I was not referring to the never mind. What is your business here? Explain yourselves. It's the same it's the same as always been. We're on the, a journey to defeat the evil Mr. Stitches. You would normally give us a mystical stone for beating you. I, I don't have it. I already gave you my <laughs> Give her the stone, kid. <laughs> what what is the meaning of this? This is my stone. <laughs> We're on a mission from Stitches to deliver these stones to the bosses of the Stitched Army, and that includes you. <laughs> Stitches? I mean, Lord Stitches see you. <laughs> Listen closely, you better not go run flying to Mr. Stitches and snitch on us. It won't do you any favors if he knows that you were beaten by a little underling. <laughs> you little... And I'm sure your subjects will love the fact that their queen was so easily beaten by a basket. <laughs> Fine. Do not bring your presence to my domain ever again. <laughs> huh. We are just leaving, right kid? Talk to you enough, you're gonna say something. I don't know why I'm going through puberty. <laughs> ah, geez. More water. What in the world are you plotting, Stitches? You have more to say, or you just. Okay. Well, I gave you your stone. Didn't I need all of the stones to defeat Stitches, though? I'm very confused as to why Elizabeth told me to give her the stone. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna kick their butts and keep the stone. It looks like this is Alexandra's personal portal to the castle. I don't think she'll mind if we use it real quick. Okay. Oh. Horrifying. This painting doesn't look very friendly. It doesn't look good either. The lighting is terrible. Whatever. Ominous. Not sure what that's implying. Whee! Can you portal me already? There I go. 